Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower.
Good morning. Please join me in singing our opening song this morning, Sing to the Mountains. Please stand as we begin our celebration. In our celebration, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now <clears throat> acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you show the way to new life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you, give, you are the source of truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the sign of the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace with people, goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now pray on this feast of the Holy Trinity. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful and majesty. Through our Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship, 
Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity, and for those of you, including myself, who are educated in the Baltimore Catechism, we can still see the image of the triangle with the one eye in the middle, that it was one God and three persons, and we probably didn't understand what they were saying to us. And probably we don't un totally understand it to this very day. And it is, in a sense, the mystery of all mysteries of how we consider three personalities, three persons becoming one per in one person. Now there are some of us who have three personalities in one person, <laughs> so we should be able to understand that a bit. But I've always looked at this, and there have been volumes upon volumes of books and treatises that have been written, stored in our theological libraries throughout this world, on what the Trinity is all about, and they are three different distinct personalities of God. It's God the Father, who sent his only beloved Son to this earth to be one like us, an expression of God trying to be with us. Jesus contained all of the attributes that we have. He was, he was loving and understanding. He did show moments of frustration and anger, if you remember in the temple when he threw over the tables. It's kind of like when we get a little upset. He got over it, though. And then he showed compassion toward people, as we do, and he probably had some disappointment like we do when he was at the very end of his life, disappointed in his disciples and followers. And so, therefore, he was not going to be here forever like all human beings, and so, therefore, he sent the Holy Spirit, which we celebrated last week at the Feast of Pentecost, a spirit that we can't always see with our eyes in the sense of someone physical, but that we feel. Some, the spirit that was given to us at the moment of our baptism and that we confirmed in confirmation. And so all have a different function. Some theological writers have referred to it as the great dance among the three persons of God. I think to simplify it and to understand it more clearly, it is very basically three ways that God is trying to touch us and love us, to comfort us and to care for us, to show us of his unconditional love, that he considers all of us so very precious in his eyes, that he holds us by our hearts and our minds every day of our life, and he has tried to express that in so many ways. Through the humanity of Jesus, by the power of him, the Father himself, and by the continued presence of the Spirit, which moves us, which changes us, which gives us wisdom and knowledge, and understanding and fortitude in our own lives. Now, who else does that for us? Who else really cares that much? It's not to say that we don't care and love others, but to that degree, to show so many ways. And I think more and more we need to feel that, not only ourselves personally, but as a community, as a wider world. Because this, this faith of ours is not about just us and God. It's about all of us together. And so God is trying to reach our hearts, and this is one of the ways. So in a sense, what seems to be a very mysterious celebration 
and theological concept of the Trinity of God is very simply the God who shows us love. And if it's a great dance, as these spiritual writers claim, then we choose which uh, the dance will we join. Will we accept this unconditional love that God has for each of us, no matter who we are, where we come from, what we have, what color of our skin, what nationality we hold, that we are precious in his eyes. And today, if we could walk out of this church just realizing how deeply we're loved, and there may be some of us, not everyone, but some of us who may not be feeling that love in our lives or are questioning it, not knowing where it comes from, feeling maybe a little alienated, a little uh, perplexed, let us let this celebration give us, in a sense, a warm heart to know that this guy upstairs, as we refer to him sometimes, some people will say to me, hey, you know the guy upstairs, say a few extra prayers, you know. And uh, I said, hey, you have as much power as I do. <laughs> you can do it. But let us feel that presence this week in our lives, the love of God expressed in so many ways. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We confidently now present our many petitions before our faithful God who hears each of those concerns. For vocations to all ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay, and diaconal ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of public life, civic leadership, education, health, community service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of liturgical life and prayer through the conversation of hearts and minds to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the strength to mend our ways and live in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of community building and confronting the world with love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Cheryl Zola, Lucy White, Inez and Lawrence Bissoletti, Caroline Dankowitz, and Dr. Eugene Rivera, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you unite your people with love. Hear the prayers we offer for the church and the world. Through Christ, our Lord.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our Almighty God. For the praise and glory of his name, our good and Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the one true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. But this is praised by the angels, and now we who never always cry out each day for your help, we proclaim with one voice. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, <clears throat> we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout this world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas and Robert, our bishops. Remember your servants, <clears throat> Cheryl Zola, Lucy White, Inez and Lawrence Rochetti, and Carolyn Denkowitz, whom you have called from your life, from this life to your side. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with Mary, the virgin mother of God, Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
choose Christ, I will choose love, I choose to serve. I give my heart, I give my life, I give my all to you. How many times must he call my name and show to me that he As I look upon you. 